For this Mardi Gras inspired mask, start with some electric purple from the Snazaroo metallic range and load it up onto a brush. In the centre of the forehead, right between the eyes, paint five teardrops which get smaller and smaller in size. Then add a group of three teardrops starting on the top of the cheekbone, extending to the outside edge of the eye, and round out a swirl which also connects to the same point. And then finish off with another two starting above the eyebrow, connecting down to the centerpiece. Next, take Snazaroo Electric Green and add two more teardrops right above the purple ones. Paint lots of small strokes along the bottom edge of the mask in the middle to complete the centerpiece. And then use more drops to fill in any empty spaces around the edges. Now that the basic shape of the mask is complete, you can go back in with the purple and neaten up the area around the eyes, make the line a bit thicker and much more defined. Also add a very small squiggle on the end of the curl, just for a bit more interest. Next, with some Snazaroo yellow, add a small dot right in the centre of the mask. And then go around and add even more teardrops in any areas that you feel might need filling up. You can also use this colour to line underneath the purple edge around the eyes. Next, switch back to the green and paint a very thin line underneath the yellow. Then wipe the majority of the paint off the brush and use this to drag the colour down so it blends into nothing. With Snazaroo Black, go round the entire mask and paint in an outline. To keep your lines as thin as possible, you need to make sure you're working right on the very tip of the brush and not pressing it down too hard. And to keep everything looking clean, make sure you reload the paint between each stroke or every couple of strokes. Next, take some loose glitter in a matching colour and, using a damp brush, apply this on top of the paint. It's much easier to use a brush than your finger as you can be really precise. I decided just to stick with the purple and the green glitter. If you wanted to, you could put gold over the top of the yellow, but I liked how bright the yellow looked on its own. Using some pink Snazaroo paint and my finger, I applied some to the apples of my cheeks to give me that nice rosy glow, and then I also applied some to the lips. Finally, take a Snazaroo paint in white and go around the mask adding in a few dots. <laughs> <laughs> 